Hey Preschool 2 friends, it's Teacher Annette. Have you ever written a letter to a friend? Did you get to send it through the mail? Well, I want to read you a story today about a little boy who does just that. He sends a letter to his friend and, oh, I wonder what's going to happen when he tries to bring it to the mailbox. Let's find out. Let's read. A Letter to Amy by Ezra Jack Keats. A Letter to Amy. And there you can see. Have you ever seen one of these? These mailboxes. Maybe you've seen them on the road before or outside of a school or outside of a library. Let's see. I'm writing a letter to Amy. I'm inviting her to my party, Peter announced. Why don't you just ask her? You didn't write to anyone else, said his mother. Peter stared at the sheet of paper for a while and said, well, this way it's sort of special. Why would writing a letter be more special than telling someone in person? Hmm. He folded the letter quite a few times, put it in the envelope, and sealed it. Now I'll mail it, he said. What did you write? His mother asked. Will you please come to my birthday party, Peter? You should tell her when to come. So he wrote on the back of the envelope, It is this Saturday at 2. Now I'll mail it. Put on a stamp. He did and started to leave. Re wear your raincoat. L looks like rain. He put it on and said, It looks like rain. You'd better stay in, Willie. And ran out to mail his letter. Who do you think Willie is? Who was he talking to? I think he was talking to his dog. I think his dog's name is Willie. Ooh. Do you have a raincoat like this? Or do you have another kind of coat that you wear in the rain? Oh, and look at all those clouds. Oh, I like it when the sky looks like this, but some people don't. Walking to the mailbox, Peter looked at the sky. Dark clouds raced across it like wild horses. Oh, why would he say that the clouds raced across the sky like wild horses? Maybe they were moving really fast. Hmm. He glanced up at Amy's window. She wasn't there. Only Pepe, her parrot, sat peering down. Parrot's looking at him. Willie, didn't I tell you to stay home? <gasps> oh my goodness, what happened? What did Willie do? Willie didn't stay home. Peter thought, what will the boys say when they see a girl at my party? Oh, is that something that you've thought about before? Do you think that that's going to be a problem? Mm, we'll see. I think that boys and girls should be able to go to the same party, so. Suddenly, there was a flash of lightning and a roar of thunder. A strong wind blew the letter out of his hand. Uh-oh. What do you think's going to happen? The letter got away from him. Peter chased the letter. He tried to stop it with his foot, but it blew away. Then it flew high into the air. Ooh, too high for him to catch, huh? And landed skipping across a hopscotch game. The letter blew this way and that. Peter chased it this way and that. He couldn't catch it. 
What would you do if you were, if something, if your letter, what would you do if your letter was flying away in the wind and you couldn't catch it? Oh, I would be so frustrated. Big drops of rain began to fall. Just then, someone turned around the corner. It was Amy. She waved to him. The letter flew right toward her. She mustn't see it or the surprise will be spoiled. They both ran for the letter. Uh-oh, who do you think's going to get it first? In his great hurry, Peter bumped into Amy. He caught the letter before she could see it was for her. Quickly, he stuffed the letter into the mailbox. He looked for Amy, but she had run off crying. Why did you think, why do you think she ran away crying? Why would she be crying? What is, is she sad about something? What do you think Peter's gonna do? Let's find out. Now she'll never come to my party thought Peter. He saw his reflection in the street. It looked all mixed up. Do you think Amy's going to come to his party? We'll have to see. When Peter got back to his house, his mother asked, did you mail your letter? Yes, he said sadly. Oh, why do you think Peter's sad now? I think it might be because he thinks his friend won't come to his party. Do you think she will, though? Let's see. Saturday came at last. Everybody arrived but Amy. Shall I bring the cake out now? His mother asked Peter. Let's wait a little, said Peter. Now! Bring it out now! Ch chanted the boys. All right, said Peter slowly. Bring it out now. Why doesn't Peter want his mom to get the cake yet? Is he waiting for something? Oh, maybe he's still waiting for Amy. Do you think she's going to come? Let's find out. Just then the door opened. In walked Amy with her parrot. A girl... Uh, said Eddie. Oh, that wasn't very nice, was it? Happy birthday, Peter, said Amy. Happy birthday, Peter, repeated the parrot. Peter's mother brought in the cake she had baked and lit the candles. Everyone sang. Make a wish, said Amy. Wish for a truck full of ice cream, shouted Eddie. A store full of candy and no stomach ache. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> but Peter made his own wish and blew out all the candles at once. I wonder what he wished for. What do you think he might have wished for? Hmm, I wonder if they'll tell us. Nope. The end. So what do you think happened in the book that the book didn't show us? Because sometimes things happen in books that it doesn't show us. And we have to use our brains, our imagination, to help us come up with something that happened in between the scenes that we did see, the parts that we did see. So remember, that Peter and Amy bumped into each other and Peter mailed the letter but Amy ran home crying and why do you think she ran home crying? Maybe because Peter took the letter from her and she had already seen her name on it. Maybe she thought Peter was being kind of mean but I think Peter just wanted to mail the letter so it would be a little more special. 
And remember, we saw Peter being really sad. And he was sad because he didn't think Amy was going to come to his birthday party because she had gone away crying. But did she show up? She did. She did come to the party. And did we see Amy get the letter? Did we see her tell Peter that she was coming? Did she say anything to him about the letter? No, but we can guess that between this part, oh, not that part, between this part and this part, that Amy did get the letter and she came to Peter's birthday. And sometimes things happen like that where you know, we misunderstand each other. We think that someone is saying something to us or doing something to us that they don't really mean to do. And the other thing the book didn't show us was what? What Peter's wish, oh, what Peter's wish was, right? So that's another thing that we can maybe think about. So we know his friend Eddie said that he should wish for a truck full of ice cream and a candy store full of candy with no stomach aches. But the book tells us that Peter made his own wish. What kind of thing do you think Peter wished for? So there's so many things in this book that the book didn't even tell us that we had to use our imaginations to think about and fill in by ourselves. And when we have to fill things in by ourselves, sometimes there's no right or wrong answer. So if you think something happened that your friend thinks didn't happen, we don't know for sure which one did or didn't. So nobody's really right and nobody's really wrong. Maybe Amy didn't get the letter, but their moms talked. Maybe she did get the letter. And we'll never really know for sure what Peter wished for which is why we get to come up with what he wished for ourselves. And sometimes that's the fun thing about books is filling in part of the story with your imagination. I hope you had as much fun with this story as I did. And I hope you liked the pictures as much as I did. I thought they were really pretty. It was so nice to sit outside with you and read a book together. I'll talk to you later. Bye.